A professor at a Virginia university is standing up for her free speech after a tweet she made that's riled up the LGBT, LGBTQ plus groups on her campus. Sophia Nelson is a scholar in residence at Christopher Newport University, and she's speaking out after students maligned her reputation over a tweet criticizing the sexualization of the Superman comic books. And she pointed out she was talking about any kind of sexualization, not just homosexuality. When people lead in offense and you lead with anger and you lead with hurt feelings, you're never going to have the outcome that you want. You're going to do damage to other human beings. You're going to hurt careers. You're going to ruin reputations because you got mad and because you got hurt. If you wonder why our country is divided as it is and why this Virginia election is as close as it is and and, 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 and why we are in the place that we are in. This right here is a perfect example of why. Somebody saw me, that somebody, that they caused some hurt and pain. I immediately went about to fix it and I immediately wanted to address it and I immediately was looking forward with excitement to sitting with you on the great lawn and fellowshipping and talking. I planned to buy everybody a cup of coffee or whatever they wanted on me. And we just sit there and we talk all day. Whatever you needed, I wanted to give it to you. Instead, I have an angry mob after me. And that's what has happened. It is a mob. And once the mob gets whipped up, and once the mob needs its pound of flesh, it doesn't know how to stop itself. And that's the real tragedy of this. You know, I know something about gender and equity and race. I do. I may not have an Ivy League degree and I may not be a PhD like Dr. Stern and others like her who think that in their elitism and their wokeism that they're the only ones who can tell the rest of us how to live, how to think, what to say, what not to say, and that they're the ones that should run everything. I don't want to know people like that. I don't want to know people that like to write open proclamations and letters blasting their colleagues, condemning them. Attacking their faith. I don't want to know people like that. I don't. And I'm just being real with you because this generation prides itself, my students, on being real. You like to keep it real. So I will. Just as you say I'm accountable for my words and actions, and I am, so are you. And Trey Gonzalez with FaithWire.com joins us now. He's been following this story. So, Trey, Professor Nelson says she never meant to offend any students or faculty and wanted to use this to promote better understanding of differing opinions, but there's been no effort by the school or students toward this, correct? Well, the university's president, the outgoing president, Paul Tribble, he's been there for decades. Uh, he, When all of this first started, he made an attempt to reach out and say, OK, we'll hold a, a, a forum on campus uh, like Sophia Nelson mentioned in that, that clip uh, and we can all discuss it. Uh, but due to some circumstances, she had a surgery last week and then uh, it, it ended up being delayed. And uh, so she she reached out again, said, well, we can do something over Zoom. Uh, I can call into a student government forum, whatever. Uh, and all of those uh, suggestions were rebuffed. Uh, and in the meantime, one of the professors she mentioned, Sophia, I mean, uh, Michelle Stern, uh, she's in the comms department. She rallied together other faculty members and they issued a statement against Sophia Nelson. And now she says, even though she's tentatively scheduled to appear at the university on November 9, she said, I have no interest in going there anymore because she feels so attacked by the very university uh, that wants her to, to be there. Her, her contract just started in October uh, at the university. Mm. Now, Nelson says the faculty and universities have let the students down in this culture. What do you mean by that? You know, I think she means if you watch the the, the full video of her, her speech, which is on faithwire.com, uh, she talks about a cancel culture, as she mentioned briefly in that clip, uh, and about how this this kind of mob mentality of going after someone with whom we disagree, uh, she said all it does is stifle conversation, uh, and it limits, one, uh, the opportunity for dialogue, but two, it limits the opportunity for people to grow. Uh, Nelson's opinion could have changed, students' opinions could have changed had they had had discussion, but because discussion is stifled as soon as, as someone is disagreed with, because it just goes into, people just go into attack mode, they're losing that opportunity for growth. 
Do you think Nelson going on the offense, as she says, will make a difference for her or others in the future? Look, I think she's right about it. It, this. these kind of issues leading the Virginia gubernatorial race to be so close. I think that's why we're seeing so much of it, whether it's with Loudoun County or critical race theory across the country, whatever it is, or cancel culture of, of people who have differing opinions uh, like Sophia. I, I think that, 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 that her speaking up certainly will make a difference because it's drawing more eyes to the issue. Uh, so, I, you know, I don't know how it's going to turn out with her case in particular, uh, but I think more and more parents of, of kids in public schools, uh, more and more students in college settings uh, are feeling frustrated uh, by this stifling, like I mentioned, of conversation. So, Trey, where do things stand now for Nelson and what's going to happen next for her? So she issued a, a an open letter last week ahead of the the, the clip, the speech she gave, uh, where she said that, that she plans to honor her contract with CNU, which is a year ago into fall of 2022. Uh, she said she's leaving the ball in their court. CNU has yet to say anything about whether she'll stay uh, on faculty or if she won't. Uh, but as of right now, she still is a faculty member. Uh, but the university has not responded to her latest comments. All right, you continue following this for us, and we'll continue to watch. Trey Goins, fill us with faithwire.com. Thank you so much for bringing us this story. I want to remind Thanks you at so home. From. Thank you. I want to remind you at home you can catch Faithwire this evening at 8.30 Eastern. You can find it on the CBN News Channel, or you can see it on the CBN News app.